Greetings, denizens of the digital world. It is I, the Zero Killer, coming to you today on one day 164 of the year of vlogging dangerously. One day for 100 and 100 and 164 of the year of vlogging dangerously. And I gotta say, I'm a fan of Kickstarter. I am. I might have talked about Kickstarter already. I don't know. I have no memory about these things. I'm a little bit leaky in the brain pan, but I am a big fan of Kickstarter. For those of you who don't know what Kickstarter is, Kickstarter is a... Um, it's a means. It's a it's a page and a a process dedicated to raising money for a project, usually a creative project that has some basis and already in uh, in creatitude. Um, it, it's for raising money in, for a project that uh, is in the works but not quite there. They need a little bit more money to do something for it, to bring it to the people, and. Um, it's basically it's it's a site where someone who want, who wants to raise money for a project they will create a, a page on Kickstarter they'll set a goal uh, an amount of time that they want to raise the money in and then they'll they'll give rewards and this is what I find fun is the reward thing um, they'll pr provide rewards anywhere from if you give a dollar boom you get our thanks to the ridiculous and crazy ten thousand dollars will get you this donation and they'll of course because some things they can't exactly give out they'll have limits on the reward numbers and such and it's it's fun because it's it's a way of if, if you've got you know you're at the end of a payday and you got forty bucks sitting around that you haven't budgeted for and or spent and you you, you feel like supporting an art project and you get something out of it too well then it's fun I don't know I've, I've kickstarted a few games where I paid twenty five bucks for the towards the Kickstarter for the game to be made and when the game comes out I'm gonna get a copy of it which is probably gonna cost me less than if I had bought a copy of it you know without Kickstartering it, so that's good. But sometimes, and, you know, it's, and sometimes you get the really shitty ones. You get the ones where they're like, "I'm going to write ten novels, and and I have ideas for fifty more. I want your money before I even start writing to make a time for a novel making thing." And I've, I probably, if I've talked about Kickstarter, I've talked about what not to do with the Kickstarter. And that's exactly it. Um, and sometimes something comes along that's just wondrously hilarious, and I'm not even sure I'm going to donate. But mustache monocles is one of those things. And for those of you who have no idea what the fuck I just said, mustache monocles are a thing from a company called Geek Chic. Geek Chic is a company that makes gaming furniture for those nerdy people like me who really like their tabletop gaming still. They make the best damn furniture you have ever seen. It is absolutely gorgeous, and I will never, ever buy one of their things, unfortunately, because I can't rationalize the expense. They've got some amazing gaming tables, and the thing is, it's functional furniture. It's like, um, picture one of the nicest dining room tables you have ever seen. It's a d beautiful dining room tables. And then, when you're done dining on it, you flip open the top, Tuck away the, uh, the 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 cover, and you've got a recessed gaming table, gaming area, f with all your miniatures. If you're a miniature gamer in there, or you've got a table that's suitable for playing uh, a tabletop game, and with fold-out bits to put your character sheets and places to stash your dice and your books and everything. And then they've got organizers, and they've got all sorts of crazy and wonderful stuff. Well, these people, they, this company, has been making a thing called a mustache monocle for a while. And yes, the the hipsters amongst you or those aware of hipster culture as I like to to keep an eye on and be amused by are aware that it is a thing in hipster culture to draw a mustache on your finger and then do this. Even if you have a mustache already, apparently this is the most amusing bloody thing in the world to them. And it is amusing in a way to me. But mustache monocles take that a step further. They make out of beautiful hardwoods, they make mustaches. And then they have a little copper piece, that, uh, a chain, and a fob. So you take the fob, you put it into your collar, you put it between your buttons or whatever, so it's stuck there, right? So, you know, it doesn't drop out. And then you have a, you in your pocket, you put your mustache, and then when you need your mustache, oh, I have a mustache. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a goofy accessory. But up until this point, they've been selling them online, or bringing them to cons is kind of a fun little thing they sell. Now they're doing a Kickstarter to try and package them, to put them into, you know, proper order and everything. And this is the perfect example of a good Kickstarter. They have a product that they're already making, that already has a market, that people already want. 
And what they want to do is they want $20,000 in the next 33 days, or 19,000 something dollars in the next 33 days, um, in order to buy a bunch of packaging, the UPC codes, and get it all together so that they can sell them online. And that's my friends, is what a Kickstarter is for. It's taking an existing thing or something that is almost done, just needs a little bit of a nudge, and boom, putting it out there with a uh, with a, a Kickstarter. And they've done it in such a great way. They've done all the right things. They've got a fun video to introduce it with some guy pretending to be a pretentious dignity consultant, giving you your dignity back by giving you a mustache that you can carry around. Um, they've got endorsements already. They have a very clear definition on their page of what you will get if you donate and get a package or if you buy them, what, the, what they're hoping to make them appear like. Um, they've got a, a link to who they are to prove their rep because rep is very important in these types of things too if you want to be credible. And then they've got, you know, a, more things. They've got some fun pictures and they've got a question. Uh, I, uh, a frequently asked questions area, although it's only got two questions now. It's no offense, but blank. Well, none taken. A gentleman relishes vigorous discourse. And uh, the other one, why are you doing a Kickstarter to drive a product that's been out for a year? And then they explain it very thoroughly, and I like this. And then that you get to the fun stuff. You get to the if you donate rewards, and they've got very clear and good rewards. But it's not just, hey, if you donate, bang, you're gonna get you're gonna get some mustaches. No. Along the way you discover little nuggets along like you do get um you do get like the mustaches, right? Like if you pay thirty dollars, you get the photo bomb, which is their largest mustache, so that you can jump in the back of a photo and boom, I've got a giant fake mustache. Right? You've got uh the trio packs so you get more, and then you go along the way and there's one that's like Absolutely incredibly fun where it's of course it's a ridiculous amount of money, but you get an oil painting of yourself And then of course you get the levels where you know, you're never gonna do it um, They've got a level of course that it seems to be for retailers Which is good because sometimes there's retailers that might want to draw in on that That's what they're trying to do is trying to get it into chain stores and then you've got the most ridiculous Ridiculous one of them all. The personal dignity consultant. There's one available if you donate $10,000 or more. And of course, this is a pipe dream for them. Nobody's going to do it. Or so I say because the Shadowrun one I donated to, that had one. And this is the Robert Jasper Gifford the Third, the man in the video, will come personally and do, give you a dignity makeover. And I find it fun and crazy and nuts. So this is everything a good Kickstarter page should be. And that's why I'm talking about it today, because it's great. It's exactly what it needs to be for what it is, and that's maybe not a product that I want, but it's a good exemplar for anybody that's putting out a product that maybe I want that wants to put a Kickstarter for it so that it will draw me in, and it should be a good example to any of you thinking of doing a Kickstarter yourselves. And now I've rambled for almost 10 minutes. That's the freaking longest video I've put out in ages, and that's awesome. But I'm going to end it here. I have usual, have been the Zerio Killer. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or death threats, you know where to put them. Put them in the comments section below, and I will talk to you tomorrow.